and now we should be live hi everybody what does vacuum cleaner have in common with dealing with challenges so this ceo week is about picking your own challenge um, lucy here with consult success and i would like to get you additional tool on how to deal with challenges better so when we deal with mess on the carpet let's say dust dust on the carpet i have a carpet in the office and i'm noticing that it needs some vacuum cleaning and <laughs> so that's how i got inspired for today's talk what does it have in common dust on carpets or, or any floor happens all the time it's just part of living anywhere and part of life just like challenges are part of everybody's life no matter how much money you have no matter what kind of health relationships looks weight we all deal with challenges from time to time it's part of being alive now the question is how do we deal better with the challenges it's not about the challenges just like it's not about the dust imagine you're vacuum vacuuming hope i said it correctly vacuuming with your vacuum cleaner without plugging it in so it has no power so no matter how hard you work it's not gonna work you're not gonna be happy with the result because it's just not gonna suck the dust in if it's not plugged in into electricity unless you sweep it with a broom might be harder that could be way around but we're talking about vacuum cleaner here stay on track lucy <laughs> so how is it connected to dealing with challenges well both of them need to be plugged in and empowered in order for you to get some good results out of that so just like we need to plug in the vacuum cleaner into the power grid into the electricity so when we face a challenge what kind of perspective can you gain so you yourself plug yourself in into an empowering state where you feel actually hopeful where you see some possibilities for movement forward regardless what kind of challenge that is there's always something that you can find just like in this room when i look around my eyes could see like only like this this range right let's say here on my left are all the good things i can see on the right are all the bad things i can see if i look this way and credit to julie scott my great friend for uh sharing this with me and it stuck with me so now i want to share with you if i look here there are all the good things about the situation about the challenge um all the hopes all the good the best case scenario how this could turn out all the gifts and the blessing that could come out out of the challenge all the lessons that i can learn or somebody else can learn with me through this challenge right if i look here I will see more and more things but if i look only here i'm not able even though the good things are there about the challenge and situations if i am focusing on only what's bad about the challenge i don't have the capacity to even see anything good so maybe part of the challenge how can we plug ourselves into the empowering state is to start looking at least for one win one win that can come out of that situation that you are in that is challenging situation whatever challenge in your business in your work life in your personal life health regardless what kind of challenge it is pause and ask yourself how could you feel better about it how could you get yourself into focusing on the blessings on the possible gifts on the possible lessons or even just get yourself into the more hopeful can you have at least Hope. can you find at least a hope if not a win and as an example that i wanted to share with you last week i had a private coaching call with uh, my private client and she came to me said oh my god lucy this week has been really interesting we talk on friday and <laughs> she seemed to be in a disempowered state she wasn't plugged in and since one of her goals and values one of her big values is learning so i asked so what have you learned about yourself this week this past week that's been interesting 
and uh, she realized, we realized, both realized, basically 45 minutes we were talking about all the lessons that she has learned through that challenging week. And each lesson was a win because that's what she wants to create in her life. She wants to learn and share uh, what she has learned with others. So at the end of our call, she has been, she was in an empowered state and she realized that all the challenges are coming because she is learning and she's setting new criteria for people around her in business and personal life. And that's where things start uh, getting more friction and where the challenges are starting. But actually, that's a good thing. So the moment she got into empowered state, she got plugged in, things suddenly started working and she realized you know what this is actually working i am on the right track so how could you change your own perspective on any challenge or anything that you're dealing with right now this week and move yourself into a more empowered state so you can get better results um, through the process hope this helped let me know if you have any questions and I will see you tomorrow for the last video. And I'm considering doing some interviews on Fridays. So I just don't talk myself here. So I'll see you then. We'll see what happens.